AITAH for never inviting my husband's family? I am not the OOP. OOP is U, National Opening 506. Originally posted to R, AITAH. AITAH for never inviting my husband's family? And NBSP. Original post. January 22, 2024. English is not my first language. Sorry for the mistakes. My eldest daughter will be 11 this year. When she turned 1, I invited all my husband's family to her birthday party in a nice restaurant. We all live in the same city. They all said that they would come. I made a reservation, pre-ordered food and paid for everything. There should have been 15 people coming. A week before the dinner my mother-in-law reached out to me and told me that no one would come. Everyone was busy and there was Easter coming. I didn't make a big deal out of it. Just called my friends. Told them that as friends they needed to help me out in this tough situation. Come and eat all the food. We had amazing time. On the day of the party. My mother-in-law called and asked if she could come to our house for a visit. I answered. That we were busy with birthday dinner that day. But she was welcome to visit any other day. She asked. What dinner? I answered, the one I prepaid, but now with people who were not so busy preparing for Easter. She didn't answer anything to that. So I moved to another topic after the pause. Again, didn't make a big deal out of it. Since then I never invited my husband's family to any gathering I hosted. If someone just want to visit, I'm always welcoming and polite, but no family parties. My mother-in-law finally snapped after the new year. She told me that it's been 10 years. And I need to stop ignoring family. I told her that I was ignoring no one. I literally talked to her sister and niece last week. It's just I'm not going to waste money on people who might or might not come ever again. A-I-T-A-H? If they apologized, I'd start inviting them. But it didn't come to their mind. And I'm not going to teach a bunch of adults manners and when apology expected. I have two kids to teach and that's more than enough. But it's been 10 years. A little too long to hold on to such a small thing. UPD. Sorry. Forgot to mention. The food payment wasn't refundable. UPD too. Hey everyone. I'm really thankful to everyone who put their time and effort in commenting. I read everything and though I'm thankful for the support the majority of people have given me. I kind of agree with YTA people as well. I mean at this point it's just a very silly situation. We have a baptism next month and not inviting people would cause more drama which I would. Hate. It's just not worth it. AITAH has no consensus bot. But based on the comments. Oop was NTA. Head bonk NTA. Curious if they knew it was a paid meal and they would not be expected to pay. Oop sure. In my country a person who invites 100% is expected to pay. Bruised fruit ban this is hilarious. You are a spitfire. Keep pretending you have no idea what she's talking about. I wonder. How did mother-in-law manage to cancel for everyone? Did she make that up and tell them all it was cancel? Oop I really don't think that it was some evil master plan aimed at me. What I think happened is that they were lazy and, oh. We need to do this and that before Easter and it's not the right time. Like they didn't have anything planned specifically for the time of the dinner. But it would be tiresome to include it in their schedule. Well, this is what I think happened. I was just pissed that first they agreed and then changed their mind. Celtic Lady 47 it's weird that she called you on that day asking for a dinner invitation after cancelling earlier. Was she trying to be a FB granny? Go to your Lowe's party. Take lots of pictures and leave? And why is it your responsibility to do the social planning between your family and your in-laws? That's something that your DH should have done and be responsible for. Regardless. You were a badass and took a firm stance and did a great job. Not letting anyone bully you because they. Mill. Screwed up. 
Oop no. It wasn't her plan. She wasn't aware that we still were going to dinner. She just visits us a lot at home and it wasn't an unusual call. Refugee from SA forums obviously your in-laws suck. But I'm seriously flummoxed why anyone would do an expensive, prepaid restaurant family dinner for a one-year-old's birthday. Is this some cultural thing? Were there supposed to be other young kids in attendance? Because if there were, that sounds like a nightmare for all involved, including waitstaff. Oop we had another party at home for young kids so everyone would be comfortable. I just thought it was polite thing to do to involve family in celebration as well. Because they were talking a lot about the gifts they had prepared for my daughter. Good phone 8045 just curious. Where was the husband? It's his mother after all. In all this, he should have handled it when they cancelled the first time. Oop I asked him not to make a big deal out of it. If people show me who they are, I usually don't have a need to confront them or make a conflict. I prefer to just believe them and move on with this new information in mind. And NBSP. Update. February 4th, 2024. Hey everyone. Two weeks back. I posted about my mill being upset that I never invite her side of the family to events. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash a dot i dot t dot a dot h slash comments slash 19 cb3 ga slash ita for never inviting my husband's family at all started 10 years ago when I invited them to my daughter's first birthday and they all cancelled after I'd already paid for the restaurant and food got lots of support here but also agreed with the folks said it was time to patch things up for the sake of my kids and have a big family thing. So, I decided to invite them to my youngest daughter's christening. It happened yesterday. And here's how it went if anyone's curious. This time, called everyone individually. Said sorry for the short notice. 10 days. Invited them with all the details. And even texted the time and place. Most people were excited and accepted. And those who couldn't make it had legit reasons. We planned to meet at the church and then hit a nearby shashlik. Barbecue. Restaurant to celebrate. I reserved the place and ordered enough shashlik for 25 people. At the church. Everyone was there. But I was surprised to be greeted by two women I had never seen before. I assumed they were church volunteers. In my country it's a usual thing. They help out with candles and provide guidance if needed. I didn't give it much thought. As there were a lot of people and I needed to be focused on a lot of staff. But these women stuck close to the family during the ceremony. Which, again, was surprising, but not much. Fast forward to the restaurant. And my mill is fussing if we have enough seats. Plates and foods for everyone. I wonder. Why wouldn't we have? Look around and see those two ladies making themselves comfortable. I talked to my husband about it. And he didn't know them either. Mill overheard. And turns out, they were my MIL's brother's nieces from his wife's side from another city. Who were staying with him for a week and they were invited by my mill yesterday. Because all family is invited. She didn't bother giving us a heads up. Because it was late in the evening and she didn't want to disturb us. I didn't tell anything to the uninvited guests because they genuinely thought they were invited in. It wasn't their fault. But AITA for telling my mill. Her brother and his wife exactly what I think about the situation in a direct way and ruining such. A nice event for them? Relevant comments. Sweet and sour cat she should have told you. It's directly her fault that it wasn't set up to cover the number of people who came and why didn't. She at least say something upon arriving at the church? You could have called the restaurant in advance to have two extra seats set up. I wouldn't have brought it up though. You're trying to include more family for your children. If it happens again that's when I'd bring it up. Oop this is what pisses me of. It could have been so not an issue had she told me in advance.
Even with her not telling me was just a small hitch. The situation itself. When Mill just did what she wanted without any concerns about my opinion or inconvenience it may. Cows me. That's what irritates me. Additional hat 6160 Can anyone explain why people associate christenings with barbecue? I've seen it before. It seems like an odd combo. Oop I had no idea about any association. I just love Shashlik and it was a nice place within a 5 minute walk from the church with a beautiful river nearby. An NBSP. Hash this is a repost sub. I am not oop. At this point, Mill shouldn't be invited to anything really. With what she had pulled on the update, I won't want to invite someone again like that. Man, Oop just can't win with these in-laws. It's weird that she called you on that day asking for a dinner invitation after cancelling earlier. It's not weird. She was hoping to catch Oop distressed. Apparently, 10 years isn't enough time for Mill to learn some basic manners face with rolling eyes. That Mill is playing mind games, and is mad that Oop doesn't want to play her games. I have a feeling that Mill told everyone else in the family the one why O's birthday was cancelled and then cancelled for them. Wouldn't explain why no one would reach out afterwards to confirm this or whatever beforehand but. Who knows. Though I am a bit surprised that she decided to also apparently never follow up with the other. Family members about this and just stopped inviting them all together over one incident. I'm just imagining a scenario where Mill tells me Uncle Ted and Aunt Lucy had to cancel the party BC. Easter and I go, oh okay. Damn that sucks. But okay. And then 10 years later find out I was never invited to anything ever again BC Mill lied. To me or something lol. Next Christmas Mill needs to a copy of Emily Post as her present. She should have just said, child's birthday is still near Easter and you told me that everyone has. Too much to do with Easter so I'm respecting your wishes. Where is the husband in all this? See. This is what happens when you try and be the bigger person. Mill like this are all cut from the same cloth. If nothing else, these mill posts have taught me what not to do as a mill. What the hell is wrong with OOP's mill? The first time in 10 years that the in-laws are invited after the first fiasco and she again. Disrespects Oop and her planning? Sorry. But even though it's 10 years apart, there's something seriously wrong with her mill. I would go back to not inviting the in-laws to anything again. No. It's not the two nieces' fault. They naturally thought that they were invited, included. But this was strike two and I. 60. F. Wouldn't give her the opportunity for a third strike. Ugh it better not take Mill another 10 years to clue in. I'm annoyed for the OP. I feel like Mill might not have told anyone about that party 10 years ago or told them all it was. Cancelled. Why was she the one that cancelled for all 15 guests? It just doesn't make sense. It's also weird to never invite a single one of them to another event ever again for 10 years. No milestones in all the 10 years? So weird. I'm not sure why so many people here think Mill must be some kind of manipulative mastermind or psychopath. I get that we see those a lot. But she just sounds like your average inconsiderate person. Tell Mill that in the future you need a heads up ahead of time if she's bringing uninvited guests to your event. I'd let it go. They came and now things are on a more even keel. Is it worth another 10-year stalemate? It wouldn't be for me. Frustrating? Absolutely but I'd just reinforce the reminder about added guests and move on. Mill 100% pulled that on purpose. 
blown away at the audacity of the MIL. She knows she hasn't been included because of what happened 10 years ago at a prepaid party for her granddaughter. She must realize that this, being the first time Oop has reached out, is a big deal. So at another prepaid dinner, seriously Oop I have questions. She decides to pull another stunt? What is that? Methinks Mill is trying to set up Oop as a bad person. They didn't have a birthday party for one year old. What a terrible mother. Except they did. Which was why Mill surprised they weren't at home. They didn't get enough seats for all the family. What a terrible host. Except she did. And then she took the people who tried to screw this up aside privately. So they couldn't play victim. This is wild. It's so petty of Op to carry it for so long but also. I kinda agree with what she did. Especially after the SHT the mill poll. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.